That's amazing. <laughs> I just controlled the whole thing with my uh, hand gestures. Up, down, left, right, and it follows me and I don't even have to have my hand up, so. Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so we're uh, we're starting this vlog off in the car because we're on our way to a place called Senate Academy. Senate Academy is the place where they actually issue license and permits for flying drones. And the next thing we're trying to do is fly drones. All right, so myself and Ali, camera guy right behind you who we met last time, we're going for our certification right now. So uh, we're gonna see how it is. We're told it's very easy, sometimes hard. In Dubai, actually in the UAE, you need, uh, primarily in Dubai, you need a permit or a license to fly a drone. So we're gonna find out what the rules, regulations, how it is with tourists, people that wanna come visit and just fly a drone, how, what do they have to do? So we're gonna answer all these questions for you guys and uh, let's see how it goes. Racing. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Look at that camel, man. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Alright guys, it's time to get our drone licenses. So we wanna go to Senate Academy right now. Let's see what they got to offer for us. I hope it's easy. I haven't been to school in a while. Okay guys, we're gonna go see one of the owners of Senate Academy. He's gonna show us some really cool things inside before we go on our journey for getting registered. By the way, correction on that. It's not a permit or a license, it's a registration. You must be registered in the UAE to fly a drone. So let's go see what kind of toys they have inside. These are not little toys, these are major. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us over here and thank you for this opportunity to work with your company to get registered. It is my pleasure. So I was told you have some amazing toys. Wow, I'm a, I feel like I'm in, uh, oh man, it looks like NASA. <laughs> yeah. This Check is, this out. <laughs> uh, this is our uh, innovation part in Senate Academy and plus some of my personal toys here that I love to fly and enjoy. So you, you guys made these, you purchased these, you manufacture, what's the deal uh, with this? This no, looks amazing. These, these type of drones, yes, we, we, we do manufacture them here. Nice. It's manufactured by Senate and uh, it acts exactly like the Inspire one. But the difference okay. is it can go longer range, it can fly up to seven kilometers. And okay. uh, the flight duration on this copter is around 45 minutes. 45 so minutes. So it has, it has different uses. So we are, we are, according to requests from different departments, we, we, we come with, with, a, with a solution for them. Okay. So this is what, what we do here. And we do have some different drones as well, where it can fly for even more than an hour. So. But looking at this, I mean, you have a couple of things that are interesting. This looks like the Inspire camera, or exactly. am I wrong? Exactly. Okay, and then, then, then you have a little mic. Oh, you have yeah. like a, oh man, you have a, a, bull, a, bull, a bullhorn there. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, 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 that loud, loudspeaker, the, like for example, the, the, this, this project is for uh, one of the uh, preserved areas in Dubai and they wanted to use something to warn people not to come closer to them or to warn them like to oh. stay away from these uh, preserved areas. Okay. So they wanted an easy solution. So the best solution is always if you use something easy to use. So okay. what we are doing, yes, we do have complicated systems, but we are trying to make it easy to use. This is the whole point of it. So as now, as if you are flying a Phantom, it, uh, it, it's even easier than a Phantom when you fly it. Nice, so, really? So this is the point. That's excellent. We make something easy. So you, you're doing this for, for companies and for government? Government, well, mostly government. This is mostly government, yes. okay. So uh, land preservation, animals, um, yeah. zoos, or anything like that. This is, and this is actually a very good way to warn people and to get a better view from restricted or difficult areas. Exactly. Why not? Use exactly. a drone, fly over, yeah. and then you have the ability to have sounds and whatnot. Okay, so what else you got here? These are all prototypes or? Uh, uh, these are like the, 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 this part of our office is for aerial photography usually and for uh, 
uh, innovation. We try to always come up with new solutions, new things to be used in the market where we can make a proper use of it. So, for example, there was one inquiry from one of the airports in the airport uh, in the region. Okay. So they wanted something like an alarm to uh, make the birds fly away from the airports. So this is like a buzzer. There is a loud buzzer in there. And that's a very small, easy system that you can carry and you can use it anywhere you like. So they wanted, and first of all, they wanted a solution. So okay. we come with the most convenient solution that can help and it's not expensive. And then you got a little floating device there for the water. What is that? Yeah, this is the, the drone that we we won. Uh, we used it in the drones for Good Award in 2017. I heard about that. Congratulations yeah, on thanks, that. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh so this was the drone, but now it's just stripped off because we were doing some more and uh, like up upgrading to it. So I'm not ready yet, but yes. uh, I'm still just flying it and trying to upgrade it in a, a better way as well. So it is flyable. It is uh, improving uh, every day. That's awesome. That is so good. You guys are doing a really good thing, man. Thank I you. mean, honestly, I, I, I love Senate Academy. I know all about you guys because I'm friends with a lot of your friends. And I met you once before, and, I, and it was a pleasure meeting you. And, and uh, I'm happy I'm uh, hopefully going to become part of the team today. Hopefully, I get registered, and then I start flying a drone myself. Cool. That's and I'm glad that you guys are actually helping people follow the law. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that today sure. on what's the regulations. So uh, there was a correction on my part because in the beginning, I thought it was a permit or a license. So it's registration. So what's the story behind registration in the UAE? Why do you have to be registered? Okay. Uh, first of all, like, uh, Senate Academy's uh, job is to make sure that the people are qualified. Okay. Qualified means it doesn't mean that you only you can only fly, but you must know the rules and regulations. Uh, you need to understand the airspace nice. as well, where to fly, where not to fly. Uh, emergency situations are there all all the time. You might out of a sudden you might lose your aircraft. What would you do? Yes. So we are here to always to advise people what to do, how to fly it, how to keep updating your aircraft all the time. If you have like most of the DJI uh, copters. Nice. So our duty is al always to advise the people, to guide them to the right uh, track and uh, to be always updated as well. So what we usually do is um, even, even if we qualify people, if there is any new update, we send them an email, please like try to do, try oh to follow wow, the, awesome. these steps. So okay. because we feel this is our duty to let people uh, let all this community to to follow certain rules and uh, sure. to apply it in Dubai. Absolutely, this is good for the, for the safety of the people and for the safety of the people operating the, exactly. the, the machinery. Exactly. This is fantastic. Yeah. Again, man. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, I I know the uh, the, uh, the prince himself. Uh, actually, when he uh, gave you guys a big thank you, and then it was really awesome. Actually, when he, you know, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Well, you know, Mr. Mansoor, we look forward to starting right now. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go right now and uh, try to get registered and um, see if I can fly a drone. Okay, right now what he's doing is he's demonstrating to the students actually that are going for the registration on how to operate this thing. So he's operating handheld, which is, uh, well, handheld, hand gestures, I'm sorry. He's, he's operating with the hand gestures and he's demonstrating to all of us on how to operate a Mavic Air. By the way, I forgot to mention that we are going to be learning on the Mavic Air and that's how hopefully we'll get our registration. So, see how it goes. That's amazing. Now I land it. That's amazing. <laughs> I just control the whole thing with my uh, hand gestures. Up, down, left, right, and it follows me and I don't even have to have my hand up. So after it takes off and it knows it's uh, locked in on me, I just keep walking and doing whatever I need to do and uh, that's about it. Let me go continue with my registration. All right, guys, I'm with Mr. Mansoor. He took his he took time out of his day to train us, to show us all, up, tell us all about the drones, tell us all about the laws and legality of flying in Dubai, which is amazing. Big thank you to him. And now we're all signed up for the boot camp so we can complete our registration process. So the boot camp is a few hours long. Obviously, we're not going to get you three hours in there, but we're going to get you a few clips of what we're doing during the boot camp. The boot camp is really good because we, we there's more emphasis on how to fly, right? Yes, it is. And it's, it's basically, it's, it's a three hours uh, course that we give for all the hobbyists that, uh, who are starting from zero. Okay. But we do have different courses, which are like basic and uh, advanced courses. Those are more of like, uh, more like 
for commercial use than for um, uh, it might be for government. But as far as for the hobbyist, we, we always like to make it as a shortcut, but with with training. So boot camp doesn't mean that you are fully qualified. No, it means that yes, you are you are qualified, but you do need you do need some some kind of training as well, extra training that you have to do by yourself. Nice. Okay. So then, if someone wants to further advance their license or their, their registration process and go into a, a a business type of environment you offer these types of courses or boot camps to help train them to the level of a uh, professional or someone who could actually earn a living off of this type of yes. uh that's, that's fascinating that's, that's amazing absolutely that is amazing okay great again big thank you to mr mansoor in the description below here on this on this vlog we're going to list all of the classes, the courses, the phone numbers, email contacts, websites, everything you need to know about Senate Academy. And pricing will be available through them as well. All you have to do is contact them. And if you want to find out what happened in the story, all you got to do is go to my Instagram right here below, TG from Dubai. Follow the story and you can see what's going on. Thank you again for following us, guys. Wait for the boot camp a little bit and then uh, we'll show you some more clips. Okay guys, so look, we're going to wrap this segment up right now and we're going to get ready to go to our boot camp. So. Thank you again for following. Guys, if you want to see more videos like this and you want more information, check the description down below. I'm going to list all the information for Senate Academy, their websites, their handle on Instagram, and everything else. If you guys want to get registered and certified here in Dubai, all you got to do is visit Senate, and you'll, they make it into a fantastic experience. Again, check the description down below for all the details. Look out for part two, which is where me and Ali go on the boot camp. Assalamu alaikum.